Hello and welcome again. This time I am going to talk about coring distance. How far can you core land or integrate vessels? And this is because last time I was talking about using non-CB war, wars to grab provinces far away from your nation. So you cannot grab provinces if they are too far away. And there is a concept of coring range in the game. And um, if you search it in the interface, you can't find it, but it is the same as the colonial distance or colonial range, which is displayed on the technology tab. And as you can see in my current game, it's uh, 1558 and it's Austria. And my colonial range is 325 units. You can see the colonial range very nicely if you go to the colonial map mode. And uh, how you your mouse over a province, so it will tell you the effective distance and also your current colonial range. And if the effect effective distance is green, so it's within that range, if it's red, it's outside. For example, here. So you can core land or integrate vessels within that range. And um, the distance is calculated in the case of sea tiles using ports. For example, here in Zeta, and the port just means a coastal court province. There does not need, need to be any kind of uh, buildings or something. And um, in the case of land provinces, I think it's just the distance between the nearest province and the province in question. There is one exception, and um, that is if you have vassals located on the same continent. And uh, you can see the continents by going to the overseas provinces map mode. So your continent is displayed as green. Um, so if you have a vassal in the same continent, you can core provinces next to that vassal, irrespective of the actual distance. This might be useful sometimes. There used to be also another exception. So, for example, here I, I have occupied all the provinces in this area. And now if I would like to make peace with uh, Gazi Muk and, the, and grab the very nice province of Astrakhan. So it used to be so that if I, if I, if I had occupied all the provinces uh, leading to that province, making a kind of land bridge, it was it was permitted to core, the, core that land, but now, as you can see, that is not the case anymore. All right, so to get some kind of idea how long the um, coring range is, let's see how much is it at the beginning of the game and in the end. This is here. 1444 and uh, as you can see uh, I'm playing Austria and Austria has a port in Kurds in the Gulf of Venice. So let's see how far away am I able to core things and um, let's go to the colonial map mode and have the mouse over here. So for example the distance to this Salento province in Italy, southern Italy, is 60. So I could core that province. And 
But if you go to the African co coast, for example, so Tunis is 160, uh, 180 units away, and my colonial range is 160, so that would not be possible. This province in the Mamluk area is a little bit nearer, and the distance is 154, so I could be able to core this land. So the coring distance is approximately this large. And this is from a Savoy game uh, at the very end, so it's 1820. And uh, the current colonial range is 925. Now if we go to the colonial map mode and uh, hover our mouse over the South African provinces, we can see that the distance is approximately the, the distance from Southern Europe to South Africa. We could also um, core land in South America as well. Um, there are a couple of things you can do to extend the colonial or coring this range. The first one is having exploration idea. It gives you plus 50% expansion. There are a couple of uh, national ideas as well. Uh, for example, Norway and Portugal. Um, and uh, additionally, you can use policies to expand it. So basically, uh, in the end, 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 of, end of the game, and having few provinces around the world, you can expect to be able to core uh, land all over the world. All right. Thanks again for visiting my channel and uh, welcome back. Bye.